Hi, welcome to this week's Ask a Luthier. We received a few questions. Uh, customers want us to get quite specific with the measurements that we do with uh, Fiddler Shop setup. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give you those numbers as well as go over our 10 point inspection sheet that you receive whenever you buy an instrument from Fiddler Shop that we set up. Uh, before we get started, I actually wanted to introduce Sean here. Uh, we actually hired a third luthier, so he's going to be helping us out with a few setups. Uh, this is Sean. Hello. Uh, do you want to say a few things about yourself? Yeah, I'm new here at Fiddler Shop. I'm happy to be here, and uh, yeah. He's going to be learning quite a bit with us. But uh, all right, so we'll uh, let him get back to fixing some violins, and we'll get started. So we have here a violin that we're going to be shipping out today. This is one of our uh, Holstein soils and it has a perfect setup. So the numbers that I'm about to give you can vary. Um, they're not specific set numbers, they're just numbers you wanna get in between these numbers. So the first example is the distance for the strings on the bridge. Now all these numbers are for full size instruments. If you want measurements for fractionals, please let us know when we can tell you. But the string distance on the bridge here, string distance, always needs to be between 33 and 33 and a half millimeters. And of course you want equal spacing between each string. The next thing is the projection. Now the way to measure the projection on a violin is you take two rulers, sometimes you take a straight edge, you will place it along the middle of the fingerboard here, bring it to the end of the bridge here, and then you'll take a second ruler and you will put that on the top and you'll get your measurement that way. Now on most full-size violins, this measurement here should be 27 millimeters. On some new instruments, it might be 28 or 29, but that is very dependent on the instrument itself as to whether or not that is acceptable. The next thing we do is we check the distance on the nut and on uh, full-size violins, the distance here should be anywhere between 16 and 16.3 millimeters. Same thing, you wanna make sure it's equal spacing throughout. And not only that, on the G and E, the uh, string slots need to tilt very slightly in towards the scroll, a very, very slight amount. Uh, another thing that we do or make sure is that the string height from the bottom of the string to the fingerboard is anywhere between 0.75 and one millimeter. Same thing that depends on the uh, instrument itself. And the last measurement that I can give you is when you place the sound post in the instrument, you always want the sound post to be, I'll use this pencil as an example, you always want it to be one millimeter behind the bridge and one millimeter in towards the middle of the instrument. When we talk about the feet of the bridge, where they want to sit, so this foot, the foot with the G, uh, always needs to be under the bass bar. And the foot with the E string uh, will sit about a millimeter ahead of the sound post. So those are the specific measurements I can give you. Now, when you do purchase a instrument from Fiddler Shop uh, that we do set up, we do include this instrument checklist. Now, these are filled out by us here at Fiddler Shop. Whoever sets it up is the one that fills it out and signs it. So this is what we look for. We check the string height with that measurement I just gave you. The bridge seating, meaning how the bridge is sitting on the instrument. We make sure that the feet are perfectly flat against the top. We check the fingerboard. We want to see if there's any waves, if it's curving in the wrong direction things like that, and we will fix that issue. We do put a parchment on the E string. We check the string slots at the nut. Uh, we do check the pegs, make sure they're not broken, they're not sticking in too far. Um, we do repair those if needed. 
We check the fine tuners, sometimes we replace them. The tailpiece we will adjust as close to the saddle as we can. Uh, we check the end button, sometimes it's out a little bit too far and we have to put it in further. We adjust the sound post, we do a structural inspection, we make sure there's no cracks on the instrument, there's no breakages, anything like that, and then we do a final cleaning. So, like I said, if you purchase an instrument from Fiddler Shop, you will get this um, checklist with it. So, that's pretty much it as far as specific measurements that we give uh, with our instruments for setups. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at luthier at fiddlershop.com and we'll consider them for a future video.